Hari Om, dear students. Now, let us start our second lesson, the tsunami. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about the experiences of a few people who had faced tsunami in their life in the year of 2004. So now we are going to discuss about this tsunami in 2004. Before getting into our lesson, we should know few things about natural disasters or natural calamities. So what are these natural disasters? Like you know, all the floods or earthquakes, volcanoes or great storms, tsunami, tsunamis and all these are called as natural disasters because they are caused by nature. That's why these are called as natural disasters and they create lot of destruction and damage to human life and as well as property. In this way, they make mankind very weak both in financially and as well as emotionally. So to come out of such situations, it takes a lot of time and also we should be very courageous to get back to our regular life. So now in this prose part, we are going to discuss about such kind of a brave or courageous people and their experiences, how they had faced tsunami and how they have come back to their life. What is tsunami? First, we should know about tsunami and how it is caused. What creates tsunami? If we know that, then it is easy to get into the lesson. So now let us see what is tsunami. Tsunami is a very large and powerful wave caused by earthquakes under the sea. So here tsunami is a large wave which is caused by the earthquake. Children, earthquake is a very common word to us because we might have heard it. Even you might have heard it. And you know what is earthquake? What is earthquake? It is a vibration caused on the earth by its layers. Like mantle and core, you know the uh, layers of the earth. When these layers get adjusted, it creates earthquake isn't it so this earthquake when it is occurs on the plain area or land we can feel the vibrations of the earth isn't it and when these earthquakes occurs in oceans or seas what will happen even under the sea or the ocean, the same kind of vibrations will be happening and those vibrations will push the waves with a great force. Hope you have understood the vibrations which were created by the earthquake under the sea or ocean these forces which were released out of the earthquake, they will push the waves with a lot of force. Because of that, large powerful waves will be coming and hitting the seashore area or bank area. You can say river bank, you will be saying no, in the same way, seashore area. That is the edges area, the edge area of the See, so in this way, these powerful waves which were created by the vibrations of the earthquake under the sea will hit the areas and it will grab everything, whatever it is, whatever is there 
on the bank area or seashore area and we can't withstand that force because of that a lot of uh, damage is being done both in case of a life and as well as property see here on 26th december 2004 a yes sorry a tsunami is being hit by uh, sorry it was hit to a, a different places like thailand and in, in india andaman and nicobar islands and as well as in tamil nadu coast so these are the different places which were hit by tsunami in the year of 2004 so here you can see the huge wave of tsunami generally we all love to go to sea and or especially beach and have a wonderful time by playing with the waves and all isn't it but it is uh, totally different in the case of tsunami because the size of the wave and as well as the force of the wave is totally different and very powerful also which cannot be withstanded by us see here this uh, wave such a huge wave here okay we haven't even seen probably this kind of a huge wave this is the huge wave which has been caused by the earthquake in the ocean see here this wave is coming and trying to just uh, hit this area and definitely it will grab everything and will take away because of that a lot of damage is being uh, happened in case of a life and as well as property so here especially in this lesson we are going to have different stories about the courageous people who had faced this tsunami and also how their survival had happened now let us look into the different stories from Andaman and Nicobar archipelago. Here archipelago in the sense it is nothing but a group of islands together because Andaman and Nicobar is not a single island. Many islands were uh, dotted even you can see in the map if you observe you can see many dots uh, near the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, isn't it? It's a group of islands. So this group of islands together we call it as archipelago. Now we are going to discuss about the different stories of Andaman and Nicobar during the tsunami. So the first story is about Ignatius here. So Ignatius, he was a manager at the cooperative society in Kachel. Kachel is a place um, in Andaman and Nicobar Islands and on that day, that day in the sense on December 26th of 2004, here she could feel an earthquake, that vibration she could feel. So immediately what she did is she went to her husband and she woke him up at 6 a.m. itself. So immediately when Ignatius wife could feel some kind of an earthquake, immediately she went to him and she woke him up and he immediately woke up and he carefully took out the television set from the off the table in the sense from the table and he put it under the table. He kept the table under the, sorry, he kept the TV under the table so that it will not fall or break generally we do these things children let us say when we experience earthquake immediately what do we do we take all the costly things or precious things from the home and keep it in a safe place and we run or sometimes we might even take them off isn't it especially in case of earthquakes or fire accidents such things we do it to save the precious uh, things in the same way here as soon as Ignatius wife 
told him that she could feel some kind of an earthquake he kept the table under the sorry he kept he took off the tv and kept under the table and all of them rushed out of the house rushed in the sense went very quickly or hurry burily we say no so if they have gone out of the house when the tremors stopped they saw the sea rising in chaos and confusion two of his children caught hold of the hands of their mother's father and mother's brother and rushed in the opposite direction he never saw them again his wife was also swept away only the three other children who came with him were saved really it is very um, sad thing because when the tremors stopped here tremors in the sense that slight shaking or the vibrations in the earth when they were stopped immediately they saw that the sea was rising you can see here the sea is rising with a great force and huge waves so in the chaos and confusion confusion chaos in the sense complete disorder or confusion so in that chaos and confusion two of his own children two of his children what they had done is they caught hold of the mother's father that means grandfather and mother's brother in the sense uncle so the two children of ignatius what they have done is they went to the grandfather and as well as the uncle and they rushed in the opposite direction of ignatius so somehow they went away from ignatius and they started running in the opposite direction and that's it after that situation he had never seen them again that means they might have flown away in those huge waves and even his wife was also swept away and only three other children who came to him were saved because he couldn't save his own wife and his own children because two children of him have gone to their grandfather and uncle and they have rushed in the opposite direction he couldn't save them and even his wife was also swept away in the waves and whom he could save was only the three children who came to him so in this way he lost his family in tsunami Here is the another story of a person by name Sanjeev and he was a policeman in Karchal itself like in the previous story we have discussed about Ignatius in Karchal island of Nicobar so here also Sanjeev was a policeman and he is also from Karchal of Nicobar islands and here somehow he could able to save himself and as well as his wife and baby daughter also so in this tsunami uh, somehow he saved himself his wife and his baby but he couldn't save his neighbors so when he was saving his own family he heard the cries for help from the wife of john like the guest house cook so john's wife was there in the guest house of the same area where she was crying for help but it's though sanjeev jumped into the water to rescue her that rescue in the sense here to save her here he couldn't save because both of them were swept away both of them were swept away now here is another story about 13 year old meghna so here you can see the girl she was swept away along with her parents and 77 other people so here during the tsunami uh, this 13 year girl meghna she was swept swept in the sense have gone away along with the waves 
and not only she herself along with her parents and as well as 77 people she was swept away into the sea and she spent two days floating on the sea that is really a horrible situation because children two days in the sense day and night she was all alone on the sea holding on to a wooden door so somehow while she was um, just floating um, while she was on the uh, sea she got some wooden door so she just holded it and for two days that is two days and two nights see how courageous she might be even nights also she was this girl was all alone in the mid of the sea so two days she spent all alone holding on a wooden door on the sea and even during the two days she had seen 11 times the relief helicopters the relief helicopters in the sense here helicopters bringing help to the people like those who are lost in the sea they'll go and pick them up with the help of a ropes and they bring back them to the shore so in that way she had seen 11 times these relief helicopters but they couldn't see her because she's very small or maybe uh, some other reasons these relief helicopters they didn't see our Meghna and after a couple of days that is after two days she was brought to the shore by wave by a wave itself somehow she was uh, floating on the wooden door she was brought to the shore and was found walking on the seashore in a daze without parents see here uh, missing parents and 28 uh, sorry two uh, two brothers so she lost everyone she lost her family and she was walking all alone on the sea sure really it is a very pathetic situation and it is very sad even to know such stories isn't it children here is another story almas javed was 10 years old she was a student of carmel convent in port blair and where her father had a petrol pump so here you can see a girl by name almas she was 10 years old and she goes to a convent, Carmel Convent in Port Blair and they have a petrol bunk there itself. And her, her mother's, Rahila's home was in Nankhauri Island. So her mother's place is very far away from there, Port Blair and her mother's place is in Nankhauri Island and the family had gone there to celebrate Christmas. So they have gone to this place uh, to celebrate Christmas to mother's place. When the thermos came, I have already discussed thermos in the sense kind of a vibrations or shakings in the earth. So when these kind of a vibrations or a tremors came early in the uh, morning, the family was sleeping. So everyone was sleeping because they have gone for the Christmas celebrations and December 25th they might have celebrated and they might be very tired that on 26th they were still sleeping when this thermos had come and Alma's father saw the sea water recede, recede in the sense here move back from where it was so generally waves come forward isn't it but here the waves are receding that means they are moving back so he understood that the water would come rushing back with a great force somehow he had understood that uh, these waves will be coming with a great force so immediately he woke everyone up and tried to rush them to a safer place somehow they have woke up and they went to a safer place as they ran her friend, grandfather was hit on the head by something and he fell down her father rushed to help him then came the first giant wave 
that swept both of them away so in that um, confusion like no uh, alma's father woke everyone up in the family and they were coming out in a rush way and when they were coming out alma's grandfather he was hit something by the head and he had fallen down itself there itself and immediately alma's father went back he rushed back to say alma's grandfather and when he was uh, trying to bring them him bring him not to a safer place suddenly a great wave came and took both of them away so both of them have swept away in the wave and then alma's mother and aunts stood clinging to the leaves of the coconut tree calling out to her a wave uprooted the tree and they too were washed away alma saw a log of wood floating she climbed onto it then she fainted when she woke up she was in hospital in kamota so when her grandfather and father were swept away by the giant wave immediately alma's mother and her aunt somehow they were clinging to the leaves of the coconut tree and they were shouting to call alma and somehow in that uh, situation this uh, coconut tree was uprooted and even alma's mother and aunt also were washed away or swept away you can say into the sea and somehow here alma finally she saw a log of wood you can see here log of wood floating and she climbed on to the um, log or she just caught it uh, very tightly and she was fainted and when she woke up she was in a hospital she found herself in the hospital in kamota so by holding that uh, log itself somehow she was in a what do we call um, so sad that she, all her family had swept away somehow she were fell unconscious and when she woke up she found herself in a hospital in kamota from there she was brought to port blair the little girl does not want to talk about the incident with anyone she is still traumatized traumatized in the sense greatly shocked or distressed she was very sad about the incident because in that incident itself she had lost all her family members so in this way there are many people who had lost here in this lesson itself we have discussed in this part itself we have discussed about ignatius who had just felt that uh, it was uh, just a earthquake so he kept his tv under the table and all of them have come out but in that chosen confusion he could save three of other children but he lost his own wife and as well as children who caught hold of their grandfather and uncle's hand this was one tragedy and one sad story the other story is about uh, sanji who was a policeman in the beginning he could save his wife and baby but when he had heard the cries of their neighbors like you no know, guest house cook and uh, wife john's wife immediately he went into the waters to save her and both of them an accident like very accidentally they have swept away and the next story was about megana megana was also um, a girl of a 13 years and she had lost all her parents she was swept away into the sea with her parents and as well as 77 other people where somehow she got hold of a log or a wooden door you can see and she stayed in the sea for two days for a couple of days that means two days and two nights and she spent all alone on the sea and somehow uh, though she could see 
helicopter for 11 times the helicopter the relief helicopters couldn't notice her and after a couple of days she was brought back to the shore by the waves and now finally it is a story of alma where they have though they are natives of port blair they have come to the nankauri island to celebrate uh, christmas and the next day on december 26th they didn't woke up early because of the tiredness of the previous day celebrations and his sorry her father somehow found that the waves were receding that means they were moving back and immediately he woke everyone up in the family and they were out of the house and when they were rushing out uh, alma's grandfather was hit by something on his head and he fell unconscious and alma's father have gone back to save him and both of them were just swept away by a huge wave and even Alma's mother and her aunt were also who were just catching hold of a coconut tree leaves were swept away because that coconut tree was uprooted by the huge force of the wave. So in that way she lost all her family and she could catch hold of a huge log where she felt unconscious and after uh, when she just got into the conscious she could feel she could find herself in a hospital in Kamotra. After getting recovered she was sent to Port Blair but she don't want to discuss about the incident with anyone. Hope you have understood this first part of the lesson tsunami children. If you have any doubts, please contact us so that we will rectify your doubts. Hari Om. Thank you.